And so today, here we are appreciating this place in which Dr. Owens first grew up right out of here where he learned to put a shoulder to the wheel and got out and pushed so that all of us can ride together in harmony. Dr. Hugo Owens' name was legend when I arrived at NSU as a new faculty member in 1999. His contributions to the HBCU legacy in the Commonwealth of Virginia was recanted over and over. In the racial struggle for rights, you need your protesters, you need your provocateurs, and you need your persuaders in the boardroom. Dr. Owens used his persuasive powers in the boardroom to resist harmful policies, stereotypes, and misnomers about black people to prevail. This marker educates the public about the fuller narrative of an African-American family who produced a man such as Hugo Owens. Dr. Owen shared with me something that long time ago he had written, and it was a poem called One Man Awake. And it went something like this, one man awake, can awaken another. The second can awaken his or her next door brother. The three of them awake can make such a fuss that finally it awakens the rest of us. One man awake with dawn in his eyes multiply. That was, I would say, his mission. And so we're just so, so appreciative of the fact that we are taking time out to recognize and dedicate the home of a civil rights icon. Had markers were erected in 1927, making OWLS the oldest state marker program in the country. The Highway Marker Program offers a unique and very visible way to inform and educate the public. We hope it brings helps to bring history to life by linking important stories such as the story of the Melvin Owens family. The application process is rigorous. Each potential marker topic must display regional, statewide, or national significance, and the information on the sign must be thoroughly documented. This marker dedication fits a statewide mandate to increase markers bearing important narratives of African-American contributions. James, Edward, and Grace raised their five children in this house, and Hugo Armstrong Owens, a dentist, civil rights advocate, and politician. At the death of their spouses, um, Isaac Owens and Barbara Happer Melvin came here to live with their children and grandchildren. Living in this multi-generational home had a powerful influence on our dad. In Deep Creek, dad learned the value of family, faith, education, and service, and his career can be traced to those lessons. So the, the historical marker reads thusly. James Edward Owens and Grace Catherine Melvin Owens, the college-educated children of formerly enslaved people, built this Queen Anne-style house around 1915. Their son, Dr. Hugo Armstrong Owens, dentist and civil rights activist, was born here in 1916. After serving in World War II, Hugo Owens worked to desegregate public facilities in Portsmouth in the 1950s and 1960s. In 1970, he became one of the first two African Americans elected to the Chesapeake City Council. Owens served eight of his 10 years on council as the city's vice mayor. He sat on the board of visitors of Norfolk State University and was rector of both Virginia State University and Old Dominion University. Friends, if you don't mind joining me just to give honor to the Owens Melvin family for their dedication a round of applause, please.